Oliver Green? And Mr. Oliver Green? We are ready for you now. Okay, so why don't we talk about how you're feeling? I, uh, you know, same old, same old. Which is? Uh, work, sleep, uh, that sort of thing. How is work going? You're a waiter, correct? Yeah, I'm finding it alright. Um, it can be tedious, but I'm enjoying it. And apart from work, how else have you been spending your time? Well, I, um, I've been spending a lot of time reading. Oh, what books do you enjoy? Uh, well, self-help. Um, yeah, I'd say that's what they are. That sounds lovely. I'm glad you're taking steps to feel better, Oliver. Now, with things with your girlfriend, how did everything pan out? Oh, perfect. Never been better. That's why we're here, isn't it? I, I guess they've been okay. Um, we're, we're starting to communicate a lot more now. And you made me decide to listen to them. That's great. How did you start to do that? Well, when we argue, um, we take turns to speak. Perfect. Like I said, in long-term relationships, we often find that they can alter in terms of communication. It's rare to find a consistently smooth path where both parties are happy. And since you were together... Four three years. Three years ten months. Yes. Technically, three years and ten months. See? That's a really long time to be in a single relationship. But as if you yourself have recognised, your communication was great to begin with. This will make it easier to reach into those techniques and apply them here. How long do you think it will take before we're back to normal? You can't put time on things like this, Oliver. I'm sure your girlfriend wants the same as you. Only when he stops whining, like he usually does. I think we've made a lot of progress recently, Oliver. Do you think it's time to talk about the abuse? The abuse? You've been avoiding it. Let's talk about what she did to you. Your girlfriend hurt you, Oliver. It was nothing like that. You told her. Oliver. Oliver. This needs to be addressed. She's always lying. I don't feel like I can trust her. I feel like I'm sitting next to someone I don't even know. I'm tired. She'd always do things just to annoy me. Like, she's always on a phone. She was horrible to me. Sometimes it just made me want to... <laughs> I never did, though. I didn't do anything. And we didn't do this way too much. That must have been quite hard, Oliver. Yeah, it was. How do you think that affected you in your day-to-day -day life? It made me angry. So angry. Sometimes I couldn't even bear to look at her. I just get so mad. Did you ever ruminate on this? Of course I did. Morning, evening, night, it, it didn't matter. She, she's all I think about. Would you perhaps see your actions as possessed? Possessive? I'm not possessive. Why? Why would you say that? What the fuck? I'm simply suggesting. No, no, you're lying to what you're doing. I'm not a possessive person. Oliver, please sit. No, down. this is bullshit.
fucking hell, can you watch what you're doing? It was an accident, Jesus. What did you just say? What? You said something. I didn't. Yes, you did. I heard it. I swear I didn't say anything. Don't fucking call me that. Yeah, please, can you show me? Could you now expand on why they make you feel this way? Well, he doesn't treat me right. Shouts. Makes me cry. Wouldn't that make someone unhappy? When I look at her, I feel nothing. She's got the rush of happiness or, or, or even anger, just there's nothing there. I've got nothing left. Thank you for explaining yourself. Now, Oliver, what do you hope to gain from this session? Oliver? Oliver? Oliver, you were listening to me. Yeah. You were looking at her, weren't you? No, I wasn't. But I'm sorry if you thought I was, but I'm not interested in other girls. I, I love you. Tell that to the barista the other week. Oh. She was all over you. Look, we've been over this. She wasn't doing anything. Don't act so naive. I know you're not that stupid. Where do you think you're going? To bed. I'm tired. Okay. So, that's it. That's you're not what? even going to try to fix things. There's nothing to fix. You, you've already made up your mind. Are you serious? You're really gonna say that I'm crazy or something? I never said that. God, this is freaking stupid. I'm going to bed. No. <laughs> Tired. Okay. I just want to go to bed. So that's it. That's what? No. It's fine. What? Nothing. No, it's fine. Just go to bed. Go on. You're a lion, you piece of shit. You're insane. A proper fucking psycho. selfish. What am I even listening to right now? Yes, you're acting selfish. 
It's embarrassing. Can't you see yourself right now? Sure. Whatever you say, Oliver, because you're always right, aren't you? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. I mean, can't we just have one nice moment without you fucking making it all about yourself? Making it about myself? I wasn't the one pissed and on my phone the whole night, not even speaking to me. So that's what it's all about then. I can't even speak to my friends now. To me. I mean, I'm sorry that I can't spend every single second of the day with you, but I've got a life, you know? That's just how it goes. Jesus, Oliver, you're making me feel fucking stupid. You're doing it to yourself. It's all in your fucking head. I did it. I killed her. Are you telling the truth, Oliver? I took the knife and I pushed it into her. And I liked it when she bled. <laughs> I laughed when she fell to the floor and when she couldn't speak. I thought she was so beautiful. And, and you know the worst part? I, I didn't feel bad. I didn't feel anything. It reminded me when I was a kid, and my sister used to collect these dolls. And for some reason, I used to be obsessed with them. I didn't play with them, I just liked watching their arms snap off and, and twisting their bodies until they broke. She'd cry and I'd just laugh. I've been keeping up to date with my journal. I think you'd like it. <laughs>